What's going on YouTube? It's Gupta Knight here coming at you with yet another video and I'm sorry it's a little dark. Lighting kind of sucks. It's late at night. I had to do some work today. I saw these stories earlier today but I was busy so I wasn't able to uh, get the story out for you guys. Uh, not only that, it's cold as balls out so I'm probably going to go through this information a little quickly. I do have a piece of paper here with the info. Because uh, I am in my car since my kids are sleeping since uh, here it's like 9 something, 9.30. I don't even remember. It's what? No, oh, it's 10 o'clock as I'm filming this. So it probably won't be for until about 11 when you guys see this video. And I apologize. So these leaks come from Reddit and Adore TV who actually did very well with the RTX series. So he is quite credible. Obviously, Reddit gets a lot of shit right too. And when two sources have pretty close to the same information obviously something's got to be right here so i'm actually really excited for these chips and i'll tell you why once i get to that portion where i'm most excited um, but first i'm going to get into it we got the new ryzen 3 chips we got the 3300 and the 3300x along with the 3300g so that 3300g is going to have a gpu in it just like the 2200g and stuff like that but they're going to have six cores 12 threads which is huge. So they're pretty much bumping everything down. The old Ryzen 5 series is now the new Ryzen 3 series. And you'll see that pattern kind of go as um, I continue with this. So base clock of the 3300 is 3.2. Boost is 4.0. Price, $100, guys. Yeah, that's awesome. And then you have the 3300X with a 3.5 base, 4.3, with a $130 price tag, which isn't bad that just means that we'll more than likely have better silicone so better overclocking and stuff like that so if you guys want to spend an extra 30 dollars you'll probably get a slightly better cpu and i'm trying to get this lighting here because holding it up like that right underneath the light is uh, kind of tiring my arms here and then the 3300g with the 15 compute units is a base clock of 3.0 boost of uh 3.8 but for $130, guys, and the big thing about this is they're saying it's going to have GTX uh, 1050 performance for $130. That's actually really good to get a 6-core, 12-thread CPU plus a GTX um, 1050 attached to it. That's awesome, but don't take my word for it. We'll have to uh, see when that this stuff comes out. Now, let's get into the Ryzen 5. Obviously, um, like I said, it's going to be more of a Ryzen 7 with the 8-core, 16-threads in the 3600, 3600X, and 3600G. Um, the 3600 has a base clock at 3.6 with a boost of 4.4 with a price, get this guys, $180. That's awesome. And then the 3300X, 4.0, boost 4.8, 230. That's awesome. Now the 3600G, 20 compute units on this, 3.2, with a four boost at $200, guys. So if this is uh, the 3300G's uh, 1050, I'm going to probably say the 3600G's probably closer to uh, 1050 Ti. I don't want to push it and say 1060, but maybe between the 1050 Ti and 1060, but a 1050 Ti for sure. But we'll have to see when that comes out for $200. Again, eight core, 16 threads, and at least get a 1050 Ti performance for $200, guys. That's really good. And we'll, let's get into the Ryzen 7. This is where I start to get a little excited because I've actually been saving up for a Thread th thread Ripper CPU since uh, some of you OGs might know. I'm running a 4790K, an i7 4790K from four years ago. Yes, this chip is still doing me really well, but it's time to upgrade guys so now this is where i start laughing because i've been wanting a thread ripper ryzen 7 3700 and 3700x both have 12 cores 24 threads the 3700 base 3.8 boost 4.6 price 300 dollars 3700x same 4.2 base with get this guys a 5.0 boost so what does that mean? Overclocking on this chip? Holy shit, let's go. For $330, guys, that's crazy. And now, 
the moment I am in love with the Ryzen 9, a 16 core, 32 thread CPU. That is freaking amazing. This is what I wanted. I was looking at the, you know, the um, 2950X and the 2920X going between them, but they're so expensive. But now check this, a Ryzen 9, 16 cores, 32 threads. Oh, holy crap. The 3800X and the 3850. You know, the 3800X has a uh, base of 3.9 for 4 and a boost of 4.7 at $450. The 3850, 4.3 and a boost of 5.1, guys, for 500 Now, the prices on this between the two uh, sources I've seen, uh, the 3800 could be as low as $400. And if that's the case, that 3800 is going to sell like fucking hotcakes, guys. Now, everything I stated outside of the ones with the GPU and the 3850X will launch supposedly at ECS uh, here coming up. Uh, the 3850 will launch in May, supposedly. And then the um, ones with the GPU will be in quarter three when Navi comes out because they're probably just starting uh, getting Navi in production. So they're probably just finally getting some of the CPUs and the silicons figured out what is going to be good and using the silicon that's not as good and putting the Navi and stuff like that in it to make sure that, you know, they're as cost effective as possible because they're still a company, stuff like that. Now, honestly, guys, I'm more excited for the Ryzen 7 and Ryzen 9 than I am the other two, just because obviously some of the stuff that I do with creating these videos and stuff like that, if I can, because I have been saving, like I said, for a Threadripper CPU, I'm going for the Ryzen 9. 16 cores, 32 threads, guys, on a consumer line? Like, that's freaking insane. Yeah, it's like four to 500 bucks, but the clock speeds on these things are crazy. That's one thing that AMD is going to fix because that was the thing with them. That's why they were kind of losing to Intel's i7 and i9s is because their clock speeds weren't as good. But now, these things are going toe-to-toe -to -toe and freaking just jabbing Intel in the stomach punching them in the face a couple times and if these come out and they're really good as they look on paper they're gonna knock intel out and intel's gonna have to respond with something because these are on the seven nanometer process intel has said that they can't do it so we're gonna have to see here amd man you guys are looking good i salute you i can't wait to go back to an amd chip i used to have an amd chip I can't wait to go back. You guys have been doing so great lately. I can't wait. So what do you guys think? What's your favorite CPU out of the Ryzen 3000 series? Let me know down in the comments down below. Make sure you like this video if you liked it. Dislike it if you dislike it. If you do, tell me why you dislike it. So this is Gut the Night, guys. Signing out.